hello everyone you're welcome back to my channel hope you're good hope you're doing well so today we'll be learning how to make this beautiful free uh, boat neckline so if you want to learn how to make this kindly watch this video to the end so let's get started so for us to start uh, i have uh, i have my fabric here with me as you can see I've already cut out my fabric so i'm going to turn it to the wrong side now so i used half of my shoulder measurement plus the length of my sleeve in about 1.5 inches for the allowance because this dress is going to be oh um, it's going to be cut together with the sleeve did you see that so it's going to be cut together with the sleeve this dress now it's going to be cut together with the sleeve so and i'm going to be cutting the front and the back at once you can decide to cut them differently but i choose to cut them together so that's why i'm placing the two fabric together for my front and for my back did you see that so it's going to be for my front and for my back and the next thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to mark one inch at the top of my pattern paper. So I'm going to mark one inch here. So it's going to serve as a starting point line for me. Did you see that? So from that place, now I'm going to take uh, from my the, the, from my shoulder to my waist line, and also from my shoulder to my hip line, and I'm going to connect that so this is my waistline and i'm also going to mark from my shoulder to my hip line as well and i'm going to connect that so when i'm done this is what i'm going to have now so the next thing i'm going to do is that i'm going to take half of my shoulder measurement which is 14 divided by 2 is 7 inches and I'm going to take the length of my sleeve uh, because this is going to be cut out with the sleeve so I'm going to cut I'm going to take the length of my sleeve as six and a half plus one inch for the uh, folding in or the hemming allowance for the mouth so that's basically what I did I took half of my shoulder measurement plus my sleeve length and one inch for your hemming allowance. So what I'm going to do now is from this point, I'm going to take my shoulder slope of two inches, not one inch. I'm taking shoulder slope of two inches and from here, I'm going to mark three inches, which is the basic for taking your shoulder slope and I'm going to connect my shoulder slope did you see that so from that shoulder slope point from that shoulder uh, slope i'm going to take half of my armhole circumference which is seven, 15 inches divided by two is going to be seven and a half so what this is my waistline so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to just connect this line now so this is going to be my chest line so this is where my chest line now falls. So at that point, now I'm going to take one one quarter of my my chest measurement, or oh sorry, my bust measurement, plus one inch for the freeness or for the ease, and then one inch for the sewing allowance. This is going to be a free top or a free dress. So I added one inch. For, you can add more than one inch to inches. I don't really like adding much, so I added one inch and one inch for the hemming allowance. And whatever thing I have at the chest line, I'm going to mark also at the waist line. So on my hip line, I'm going to mark one quarter of my hip plus one inch for the freeness of the dress and one inch for the sewing allowance. And I'm going to connect that. So I haven't done that because I don't really want the waist to be like this. So I'm going to come inward by one inch from the waist, 
just to give it a bit of a curve or something like that so it's just to make it look kind of um have a bit of curve at that waistline so i went in one by one inch and i'm going to connect like so did you see this one is not going to be part of what you are working with and from my waistline around one inch above my waistline i'm going to make my armhole curve like so did you see that i'm going to make my armhole curve from around one inch above the waistline i'm going to make my curve did you see that so this is what we are going to have and i'm going to be working on my neckline since it's a k a boat neckline you can decide to use anything that you want to i used four here but i later used four and a half for the width and then for the depth i used two inches for the depth i'm going to be marking it for the front and the back so what i use is 4.5 for the width and two inches for the depth of mine um, but if you are a bigger person you should you should use around 5.5 for the width width uh, for the neckline width and three inches for the neckline depth so i'm going to add half inch to this so for a slimmer person you can use 4.5 for the width and 2 to 2.5 for the depth by make use of four and half and two inches for the depth and if you are big you can make use of 5.5 for the width and three inches for the depth for your canoe, canoe neckline and i'm cutting this for the front and back and as you can see i've added the sewing allowance at the neckline and the and also on the shoulder uh, side as well so i'm going to mark the length of this dress plus the two inches for hemming allowance at the damp part of the dress did you see that so i'm going to connect uh, mark them like so and i'm going to connect so when i'm done so this is what i'm going to have so i'm going to connect like so did you see that so the, uh, so whatever thing i have at the hip i'm going to also mark at the hem part so i'm going to mark everything i have on, at the hip at the hem part as well but then i'm going to subtract one inch from that so whatever thing i have on the hip i subtracted one inch and i mark at the hem part because i want it to be have that pens look at the down part like so did you see that so this is what we have for this part so we'll be so we'll be cutting this out now So this is what I'm going to have now. Did you see that? This is what I'm going to have. So as you can see, I am done. So you can now open it up and see how it looks. So this is what I have now.
so it's actually very simple and easy to draft out this is something you can make within 20 minutes and you are done did you see that so i have the front and the back at the same so i'm going to be cutting my belt as well So this is my bias strip. So I'm going to use my bias to finish up the neckline. You can set to use a face seam, but I'm going to be making use of a bias. And for the mouth here, I'm going to fold it in. Remember, we added one inch for the mouth side. So I'm going to be folding it in by that one inch. And we'll be sewing the sides by the one inch as well did you see that so when i open it up this is what i'm going to have i'll place the right side to each order and i'm going to sew and um, sew the shoulder parts and yes did you see that so i'm going to sew and sew the shoulder part the sleeve um i'm going to turn the sleeve opening sew the side and finish up the necklines so this is going this is uh the belt that i'm making use of you can decide to make use of a belt you can decide not to make use of a belt in case you want to make use of your make use of this thing um of pockets you can but i'm not making use of this pocket for this particular one so in case you want to add pocket to it that will be beautiful you can decide to add your pocket to the dress but i won't be adding any pockets to that so this is my my belt so i have 45 45 by five inches as the width so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to join the two parts together since i have the length of this uh this as 45 45 so i'm going to join the two parts together like so and then i'm going to go fold it in into two And also, so did you see that? I'll fold this in like so, and also sew these parts. So basically, so I'm going to just hold the two mouths of this um, belt, and I'm going to give it, going to curve it like this, so that I'll have that uh, shape for belt so i'm going to sew and turn inside out so and as you can see we are coming to the end of this so if you really enjoyed this video kindly give this video a big thumbs up and if you have not subscribed please subscribe and turn on the notification bell see you in my next video bye bye